You found your dream house and you want it now. You are so excited to be able to buy this home because you qualify for $320,000 and this house is at 319 right underneath your limit. You want to submit the offer so it can be taken off the market before anyone else has a chance to get their hands on it. Hold those horses though. It is great that you found your home, but there are other variables that you should consider. Let me go ahead and break it down for you. This is Brian Mason, your Northern Virginia Realtor. Before I start, my expertise is in Northern Virginia. I'm sure you can apply a lot of what I'm saying to the purchases of your home in different areas. However, there are different laws in different places. Price, the price looks good to you, but is it good? Remember, what actually dictates the price of a home is what someone is willing to pay for. I can say though that I have never met a person who stated they wanted to overpay for a home. There are a few factors though to take into consideration. The current market. If the market is slow and homes sit on the market for a month, two months, maybe a year before they receive an offer, then this is known as a buyer's market. You can go ahead and attempt to offer a lower price than the suggested sales price of the home. It might just work or they will simply just counter your offer. If the market is on fire and typically homes receive multiple offers after the first weekend, well, this is a seller's market. This usually happens when we see that the demand is greater than the supply. When this happens, you need to be at the sales price or exceed it if you want to be the one that has a ratified contract at the end of the night. Well, most of the time. The price of the home might be just too high. This happens usually when realtors provide horrible advice to the seller to list the home way above what any other homes have sold in the area. Kind of reminds me of 2008. Now, you might ask yourself, could I like an overpriced home? Yes, this will happen time from time when the house that you want to buy is way overpriced compared to the similar homes in the market. Your realtor should provide you with a, co with a comparative market analysis. This will break down similar homes in nearby areas, usually within a half a mile and how much they have sold for. I like to go within the past three or four months because it increases the accuracy of the value of the home. If your realtor does their job and provides you with this, you should see if it seems like the price is fair and reasonable. Do not worry, I will go over a comparative market analysis in my next home buying video. However, if you are still determined to pay the house the high amount to get this house, there are some factors the realtor needs to explain. How long do you plan on living in the house? What do you plan on doing with the house when you move? I will go further into detail in, the, in two videos from this one. Is there anything else that you should look for? <clears throat> what you should look for also is days on the market in association of the last price reduction. Days of the market tells us that nobody is trying to buy the home, plus it's been on the market for so long that not everyone is rushing to see it. This means that you can offer a lower sales price than what is listed and it might get accepted. This is true unless there has been a recent price reduction then you might be able to offer something less and get a ratified contract, or you might not. Really depends on the market at the time. A price reduction might attract new potential buyers and might bring in more offers. It will not be as competitive if the home would have been priced correctly at the beginning, but there's still some competition. What can really be done? What you need to do is have your realtor talk with the other agent. Communication seems to be a lost art. Your realtor should be talking to the seller's agent to see what other factors are important to the seller besides the sales amount. What are those other factors? Well, you will get that in three videos from this one. I know this did not cover everything, but the topic is so broad and I want to keep your attention as I provide you with this valuable information. Subscribe to my channel so you can get, <clears throat> so you can get notified of my latest videos. Till next video, this is Brian Mason, out.